books for the NFL and we all know with real football comes fantasy football leagues. As Aaron Murray explains, the past few years have seen a big gender balancing to the typically male dominated pastime. Earl Thomas, defensive back. For the past few weeks, Alec Ogletree, linebacker. In living rooms, boardrooms, almost anywhere. Kicker Nick Novak, San Diego. Voices could be heard picking players for their fantasy football teams. Pernell McPhee, linebacker. McManus. Linebacker Ken Robinson, Washington. And a majority of those voices sound like this. I'll take Parkey off the Eagles, All kicker. Right. Male. I'll take uh, Adam Vinatieri. But there are a few leagues, and they're growing in numbers that sound like this. Wide receiver Vincent Jackson. Jarvis Landry. I will take wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. Down the hall from their boyfriends, husbands, male co-workers, is the League of Extraordinary Women. Frankie Romo is a quarterback. That's right, an all-female fantasy football league. It's their second year. I did a league with my boyfriend two years ago, three years ago, because they needed a fill-in. And it was fun. And I feel that more women should enjoy football. And these women do. I really like Julio Jones. I'm hoping he has another big year. I'm not happy with my quarterback pick, but I'll live with it. Like any league, they come with strategy on how to win. Secretively, I really wanted Amir. Um, and I got him. All of this right here comes from my beautiful grandson, Jaden. They've got their top picks. Odell Beckham Jr. Antonio Brown. I had Le'Veon Bell last year and he was awesome. I had number one and I got to pick Aaron Rodgers. I'm gonna take the St. Louis Rams for defense, son. All vying for this little gem, their league trophy. And if you think for a second these women don't know football, think again. I love football. It's my thing. It's what I'm about is football, obviously. They're competitive. I'm here. I'm oh! You're trying to just build your team, so friendship doesn't matter right now. And none of them mind the street cred this football knowledge gives them at home. Carlos Hyde running back. Instead of going, oh, he's going to watch football for six hours, now we can go watch and cheer on and participate in Sunday, Monday, Thursday football. I have to admit, my, my youngest son, Joshua, he's the one that helped me along the way when I had questions. And But it's all really for the camaraderie. Bonding is the most important per or important thing in, that you can do in this world. Being together, hanging out, having fun. A league of women. More. <laughs> who really do love football. Now, fantasy football and all fantasy sports are growing at a rapid rate. Now, the women in this league tell me that they join because, well, one, they love football, but also because they love the knowledge that they've gained and allows them to speak to their coworkers and, and friends and family. So, Aaron, what is the actual divide of men to women that play fantasy football? Well, okay, Mallory, so the breakdown basically is 51.8 million people are in these leagues, and I'm going to kind of show you here. Let's say these are the men, as you can imagine, pretty male-dominated, but actually one-third are women. So 17 million players in these leagues are women. So we are kind of taking over here, which is a good thing. I have to say I love all of their football bling that they were wearing as well. Very, very blinged out, all these women. All right, thanks. That's Aaron Murray reporting live. And Jeff will have